Hello everyone, in this video we're going to do a two-for-one deal. <laughs> so I decided to pick up these Full Metal Alchemist figures. I think these were both the second releases of the figure. Um, I sort of passed on the first one because it was like, oh, you know, where would I keep it? But when I saw they were issuing them again, I couldn't resist because I love Full Metal Alchemist. And um, yeah, really... Team Mustang, but I love Ed. You can't, you can't have a Mustang without Edward Elric. So here we go. Who should I take a look at first? Uh, let's open the Chibi. <laughs> let's go with Edward. Before I open that top. I should probably show the box. So I do not have the Alphonse, but um, I had to pick, I did like, have my priorities and add one. So right off the bat, I can see it comes with two extra faces, those little power elements. Whether I should call them power elements or alchemic elements. Always gotta put the plastic out there. I love that he has the bendy arms. <laughs> I love it. It's great. I think you can also sort of move around because certain times his hair is different ways. Wow. <laughs> He's so top heavy. Scowly face. He's very mad. <laughs> I might actually do this one because I like that kind of sneer grin that he has. Again, you have the bits for him to do his alchemy. There's this really angry face, which would pair well with Mustang. The stand is not allowing me in. Spare neck part. Looks like he's got a box. <laughs> that is not unfitting of Edward, so. They have tape over the his, which is good, but also a pain. Other legs for posability. Extra hands for again posability. Get rid of 
해볼까요? 그리고 여기 here is his arm, so you can either show his normal like use of the blade. I don't, I'm like trying to think how to describe this. But if you know either the manga or the shows, you'll know. And then of course you can have his arm exposed like he's been in battle. And slide and stuff over here. Although, I think before I go on to Roy, I will I want to see his other Gonna have to watch out for his little antenna so I don't accidentally break it off. There's his little face. I wish we had like a gentle head. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I do wish that, but it's cute. On to Mustang. So again, he has two faces. His ridiculous, smug, <laughs> huge face, smile. Or just a generic, irksome, attention face. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. He, of course, has to come with some flames. And more flames. You can do the crossed arm stance, which I might, might do. He has an extra leg. And a bunch of extra hands, a lot with the gloves, because remember he has to have the gloves on in order to be using his alchemic power. Why plastic? Why? have to behead my figures as soon as I get them. Okay. Oh. I to stand for a minute. neck piece. His coat is really crazy. Because it, it moves around. <laughs> I guess depending on how you want the position. Anyway, I think it's awesome. His stand was a little bit tough to fit in the back, but I got it. So here's Colonel Mustang.
I find Nendoroids like so tempting to collect because they're small so you're like oh I can add another one <laughs> but uh, hmm. plus they're super cute and I have a weakness for the cute so that's it for these guys again I'll say they are very well sculpted they're small enough to collect. <laughs> I do not know whether or not they're still available for a sale. You can check. Um, I got mine from Ami Ami, but that was a while ago. Um, I had put in for the pre-order, so I'm not sure whether or not they're still available, and if they are, when they'll be shipping out, but if you're interested, give it a look and see if you can get them. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.